This example is 2.1.2, sorry, and it's very similar to the previous one. The major difference is we don't know what F3 is. So there's a lot of things we know and don't know. So in the previous example, we knew what it was. It was specified with magnitude and direction. This one is not. But we do know that we want it to have the smallest magnitude so that our resultant force, again, the sum of all three of them, that are applied to this I-beam uh, is along the direction of the I-beam. So we're saying our resultant force is going to be along this direction. What is this force and magnitude? You know, the direction and everything. So this is a very uh, difficult problem to do um, and one to kind of think through. And one, one thing I like to think about is what do I know? What can I solve for, right? Um, these, these types of situations can be very difficult, especially on an exam or something like that. You want to be able to get as many points as possible. So solve something that you know. Well, I know the one thing or two things that I really know is I know F1 and I know F2, right? I know those two. I can add those two vectors up. Right, So I can draw the vector polygon for this and add those up. Right, That will give me a vector in this direction. Well, that's the one we solved for in this last problem. Right, We know everything about this vector. All right, so now that I know that much, now what do I do? Right, Now where do I go? The next thing is write the next thing we know. We don't know anything about F3 other than it needs to be small. And when we add it to that resultant vector P, it will give us this the vector in that direction. So I know something about that direction, right? I know that this vector, the resultant vector, is going to be at some 45 degree line. Right? That's its line of action. The reason it's 45 is because it shows that here. All right. So now we need to find F3. So if I have a vector, oops, sorry. I need to pick the arrow. My vector could be here, right? That would give me a vector resultant along that angle. It could be anywhere along here and give me a resultant. Well, I just need it to be the smallest amount. And the smallest one, obviously, if you look at it, right, is going to be some perpendicular vector, right? That will give me the smallest resultant force F3 or smallest force F3 to give me a resultant force R in this direction. Okay? So now it's very easy to solve this. Let me kind of scroll down through some of this. Right here's our direction. We had many options to choose from. Of course, we picked the shortest one, which is perpendicular. And now we can solve this thing. Right? We can solve for it. Uh, I know this already, we solved for this before. This was our P vector, and P um, was what, 866 uh, newtons, right? This was the uh, angle of 108 that we had solved before. Um, we know that this is 45, we know this is 90. Um, we don't know what this value is. We don't know this value. Um, can we solve for this angle here? Let's see, we know angle. Can we solve that? Well, of course we can. Right? We know 108, we know 45. I can solve for that. I'm going to call that uh, alpha. Alpha equals 180 degrees, 
minus 45 degrees minus the 108 degrees. Alpha equals 27 degrees. Okay, well that's great. Now this is a really easy problem, right? If alpha is 27, I'm going to re kind of draw this for us just so we can kind of think about it. Here's F3. Right? If I look at this triangle, it's a nice right triangle. This is my R here. This is my P, which I said was 866 newtons. This is 27 degrees. Well, we can easily find R and we can easily find F. We don't care about R, to be honest. That isn't what we're looking for. We're looking for F. F, the magnitude of F is equal to my high, the sine of this angle, right? The sine of 27 is equal to the opposite side, F3, over the hypotenuse, 866. So this is equal to 866 newtons sine of 27 degrees. This is 3. That magnitude is going to be 393 newtons. That's a funny end, isn't it? 393 newtons spacing is a little odd too. That isn't the final solution. I need to know um, the angle that this is at, right? At some angle. Right, so if I can find, if I know this is 27, I know what that angle is, right? That angle uh, will be 63 degrees. If that is 60, this one, uh, 63, that one should be um, 27 degrees, obviously. All right. So my total angle going from here all the way over is 270 degrees. Okay. So if I write this in vector form, F3, vector form, is the uh, value is 393 newtons at 270 degrees, of course, from the horizontal. That is my vector form for this. All right. I'm going to stop this one here. and We just have one more problem for today.